Remember when your mother used to tell you not to sit too close to the TV because you'll develop square eyes? Imagine her horror if you told her that the screen you were watching was sitting one inch away from your face, which in reality is exactly what you are doing to yourself in virtual reality. So my question is, is Facebook trying to blind you? That's not the question. Stick to the script. Yeah, sorry. So my question is, is VR damaging your eyesight? Let's find out then. And remember, we're born to respawn. Now, despite my many talents, I am not an eye care specialist, but I do have eyes plus a VR headset. So according to internet logic, that makes me an expert. No, it doesn't. So I'm not an expert, but there are experts out there on the internet, and those experts have written studies about how VR affects... Effect? Effects? Effects. No, it's effects. Definitely righto. There are experts who have written papers on how VR affects eyesight, and I've read them so that you don't have to. The question I wanted to answer was this. Does wearing a VR headset for long periods of time actually damage your eyesight? Quite important to me personally, and obviously to all subscribers to Mac in VR, because how would you be able to see my happy smiling face if your VR headset is trying to blind you? I will attempt to break these scientific studies down into bite-sized chunks that you can devour more easily. Then I will attempt to make a balanced, informed decision on whether virtual reality can cause real problems for your eyesight. What do you think my conclusion will be? Get involved and post up in the comments down below. So what do Oculus themselves say about VR and eye strain? Well, not a lot actually. In the Oculus Quest 2 PDF guide, they refer to time and breaks. Specifically, they state you shouldn't spend more than 30 minutes in VR at any one time. Difficult when you're trying to beat those sweats in Pop 1. They also state the headset is not for use by anyone under the age of 13. The headset is not sized for children and improper sizing can lead to discomfort or adverse health effects. And younger children are in a critical period in visual development. The people at Oculus have obviously never played Population One when all the American squeakers are flooding the servers. I am heading to the American Academy of Ophthalmology first and a study by Rena Muckamal reviewed by Stephen Lipsky. MD. This study is referenced by John Egan from allaboutvision.com and states, the American Academy of Ophthalmology explains that staring for too long at a VR screen can lead to eye strain or fatigue. Why? Because we tend to blink less when using a device with a digital screen than we normally do, leading to eye strain or fatigue. Furthermore, a study published in 2019 suggests that eye fatigue among users of VR headsets results from the discrepancy between virtual and perceived depth. But the article then goes on to state some positives. Under the guidance of an eye care professional, a VR headset can be used to improve eye coordination, hand-eye coordination, depth perception, and reaction time. In addition, proper use of a VR headset can produce better visual acuity for someone with lazy eye, amblyopia. I hope I said that right. Additionally, VR headsets are helping people with low vision regain their sight. For instance, VR headsets and a software company called Iris Vision have helped thousands of vision-impaired people achieve better sight. I actually wasn't expecting that statement, and it's nice to see that VR is actually helping people who are visually impaired. Moving on, an article on the BBC website states that Danny Bittman, a virtual reality software developer, published this tweet. Just had my first eye doctor visit in three years. Now I'm very worried about my future VR use. I have a new eye convergence problem that acts like dyslexia. The doc, a headset owner, is convinced my VR use caused this. He said, these are glasses we usually prescribe to 40 year olds. This is worrying as this person is directly involved in the industry, though they did go on to state that this problem has been rectified with glasses. Though in the BBC's usual disregard for proper research, they continue to refer to Danny as he, but apart from that, the article is very balanced with quotes from Seri Smith-Janes from the Association of Optometrists, who states, we currently do not have any reliable evidence that VR headsets cause permanent deterioration in eyesight in children or adults. There have been some studies looking into the effects of short-term use of VR headsets only. These did not reveal a deterioration in eyesight. My final article is from the Canadian Association of Optometrists, which is entitled, Are Virtual Reality Headsets Dangerous for Your Eyes? Clickbait title, but I suppose it worked as I did click on it. In the article, they state the following. Most VR headsets contain two small LCD monitors, each projected at one eye, creating a stereoscopic effect which gives users the illusion of depth. These monitors are positioned very close to the eyes and have caused experts to wonder about possible negative effects, especially when used for long periods of time. 
These concerns are real because eye strain is likely whenever one focuses on an object for an extended period of time, like when we watch a long movie or stare at our computer or smartphone all day. They also go on to state, most VR headset manufacturers have put in place warnings for children. This is important because a child's visual system continues to develop throughout childhood. Extended exposure to the awkward visual posture created by VR headsets can alter the development of focusing, tracking and depth perception. So this has been a fascinating video for me due to reading and researching these articles. I've only mentioned three instances, but I did read many more than that and they all pretty much came to the same conclusion. But just before that conclusion, I'd like to give a shout out to my patrons. I love you all truly, madly and deeply. Could you also please subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload any new content. Thank you. Conclusion. I had three very strong feelings from the articles that I read and the first one is this. Children under the age of 13 should not use a VR headset because, and I quote, prolonged use could negatively impact hand-eye coordination, balance and multitasking. The second, feel the second feeling was that extended playtime in VR can lead to eye strain, fatigue, eye muscle twitching and blurred vision, which to be honest, every hardcore VR gamer already knew this, but can also be applied to overuse of mobile phones, tablets, gaming consoles and PC screens. My third feeling from reading this article, it's this. VR is a brand new emerging technology in the eye care professionals just don't know. There hasn't been enough time to fully study the effects of virtual reality and the long-term effects of use because, well, VR hasn't been here for that long. It is exactly that, a new emerging technology that is currently growing exponentially. My view, I wear glasses for reading. My eyesight has deteriorated over the past six years, but I am old, like really, really old. <laughs> I expect my vision to deteriorate. It's called age-related macular degeneration or AMD and is a natural part of, you know, getting on a bit. I don't need glasses, I just need a longer arm. The concern about children using VR is justified as there is just so much we don't know about children and how they grow and develop. Plus it seems there is a taboo on experimenting on young children. Some sort of moral issue that I, I just can't quite put my finger on. So using VR for extended periods can cause eye strain and fatigue, but I'm guessing if you're a sub to my channel, then you already knew this as you are a hardcore VR gamer. But there is no evidence that extended use of VR actually causes permanent deterioration of eyesight, unless you're an old git like me. What is your experience with extended use of VR? Have you suffered eye fatigue? Do you think that your eyes have deteriorated due to the use of VR? You know the drill get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. The algorithm loves the likes. Plus, click the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload any new content and maybe do all the things popping up around me now. You can also support the channel on PayPal or Patreon or by going to my shop on tshirtstudio.com and purchasing some of my stylish merchandise. My best chum, Surgical, has launched his own YouTube channel, so go check out the link in the description below. And I also stream once a week, so keep an eye on the community page on my channel for times and dates. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side. Kill two. Got the other one. One team left. They're weak, they're weak. In that barn. One down. One down. Yes! With a grenade! So grenade! <laughs> Yeah, just pulled the trigger as well. <laughs> just just pull around, <laughs> that was a f***ing hell of a game, that.